Allianza Minerals in the news recently. Allianza Trades is ANZ on the Toronto Venture Exchange and TARSF in the States as they complete some drilling here with at Horse Thief Canyon Gold Property in Nevada on the JV with Hoschild Mine. With me now, CEO Jason Weber. Hey, Jason, appreciate the update. Well, as the headline says, you've completed some drilling here at Horse Thief. Why don't you run through what's important and how this sets you up moving forward? Yeah, we we finished up the drill program. We had we had planned to do ten holes. Uh, hope to get uh, three thousand meters uh, of drilling in. We we did the ten holes. Uh, total about twenty eight hundred meters. Uh, we lost a couple holes in in uh, voids, open spaces. So uh, so the meterage was a, was a bit less. But uh, no, we're real happy with the way the program went. Um, obviously, with the first three holes that we we announced today, just the gold numbers. We don't have the the multi element. Uh, ICP back yet, but with the golds, uh, you know, we were hoping to hit uh, below the old drilling, beneath uh, what the uh, previous workers had drilled in the 80s. We'd hope to see if there was a, a gold uh, ore body beneath that. Um, uh, obviously, obviously, some work left to do there, and I think that's where the the multi-element ICP data will come in handy to help us vector off that drilling, see if we can identify. Um, maybe some hotter spots of the system where we we might see uh, better gold mineralization, but I think the real the you know the the key message in in this though is that uh, we drilled ten holes targeting you know five different areas spread out over almost four square kilometers, so uh, really widely spaced holes. There's lots of room to uh, to make a, a a discovery here and. And these initial holes were all in, in the area of previous work, so really no surprises. I mean, what we hit, the anomalous values, we hit up to sort of a quarter gram gold over uh, some narrowish intervals. That's just like the smoke they hit back in the 80s, so no surprises. I, I think we're really excited to see what's out, uh, especially off to the east in the new areas that haven't been drill tested, uh, where we saw in the drilling, uh, the carbonate package we wanted to see under the volcanics, we saw alteration. Um, so there's potential for uh, for gold mineralization out that way, and we're, we still feel really good about the program. Yeah. So let's uh, let's talk about next steps here. What's uh, what's the game plan from here? Yeah, I was uh, in discussions with the lab just on timing for results, and you know this this batch of results in these. First three holes was really slow to come out, and uh, they've told us that the next batch will be slow as well. We, we're not expecting anything till mid-August at the earliest, I, I, and I'm going to guess it's closer to late August that we get those results. Um, you know, They're looking at minimum six-week turnaround. So um, once we start getting those results back, you know, that'll be at least three holes worth there, and we can start to sort of put together... Uh, the package, look at uh, what we've got in the drilling and then uh, what maybe some of the trace element uh, geochemistry is telling us about what directions to look next. Yeah, and before I let you go here, uh, you're in Colorado now and uh, obviously uh, working up in BC. Why don't you talk about uh, um, where else, uh, other, other activities you're working on? Yeah, the, the Colorado work is is ongoing. We've uh, completed a, a, a reconnaissance uh, soil program there, uh, just investigating the stratigraphy that that hosts the uh, the Charlene mine that uh, that is sort of the focal point of the property and, and, and gold mineralization there. Um, so that program's done. I think we'll ex- we can expect to see the results fairly quickly on that. And uh, again, that'll lead us uh, into some hot spots where we can go do some more detailed work to identify other areas outside of the Charlene mine that we want to target for uh, potential gold mineralization. Okay, appreciate that update. That's Jason Weber, CEO, Allianz and Minerals, ANZ on the venture, TARSF in the States. Jason, appreciate that update and certainly look forward to checking back in when you have some numbers to show us. My pleasure, Rob. Thanks.